so glad you've joined me for Tea in the Garden. I'm Christina, the Manager of Collections and Special Projects at the St. Louis Science Center. Every artifact has a story to tell, and I have a delightfully whimsical story to share with you during our tea time today. I have with me here this fun little ceramic teapot from the 1920s. Now, you may be wondering what exactly is going on here. This guy does not look happy. This teapot captures an iconic moment in the history of film from the first ever science fiction film. Le Voyage dans la Lune, or A Trip to the Moon, is a black and white silent French adventure film from 1902. Although the short film is only 14 minutes long, it is a lot of fun. Inspired by Jules Verne's 1865 novel From the Earth to the Moon, it follows a group of astronomers who travel to the moon in a cannon-propelled spacecraft. The spacecraft, or capsule, basically looks like a giant bullet, and the cannon launching it looks like a big old gun. Once the spacecraft is shot into space, we follow it as it travels right towards the moon, getting closer and closer and closer and smack! The spacecraft crashes into the face of the moon, hitting him right in the eye. That's why our friend here looks a bit irritated, and no wonder. Played by a real actor, covered up to his neck in black velvet, with a face that looks like a coconut cream pie, we get this memorable scene of the man in the moon with a spacecraft in the eye. That shot is one of the most iconic and frequently referenced images in the history of cinema and pop culture. And of course, it's depicted on the poster for the film. Now the rest of the film follows the astronomers as they explore the moon, find a fantastical underground lunar kingdom, come face to face with a group of moon inhabitants, and make a daring escape back to their spacecraft and then safely home to Earth. I imagine after that rude hello, the man in the moon was pretty happy to see them go. Every artifact has a story to tell. What's the story? Stay tuned for the next artifacts from our geology collection. A rose is still a rose by any other name, but when is a mineral a rose? And don't forget, you can learn more about the Science Center's collections on our Artifacts of Wonder page at slsc.org.